Good evening, everyone. Let's try that one more time. Good evening, everyone. Good evening. Wow, there you are. Welcome to St. Paul's Newman Center Fundraising Banquet. It is so exciting to be here with you to what Bishop Folda so eloquently called in his homily the newest parish of the Fargo Diocese, St. Delta Hotel. <laughs> Thank you so much for being here. We are here to celebrate you all, all of the Bison Catholic community, whether you're a student, you're a supporter, or an alumni. Thank you so much for being here. My name is Al Schwalbe, and I will be the, the master of ceremonies tonight. So I'm an, actually an NDSU student that, that hails from coal country of North Dakota, Beulah, North Dakota. Yeah, awesome, thank you. Uh, I, I'm a junior studying animal biomedical sciences, but I actually have my, uh, my sights set on medical school. And aside from uh, studying so much to potentially go to medical school, I'm also very involved on campus, and a couple of the ways that I'm involved are through things like Blue Key Honor Society, Agriculture Ambassadors, Student Government, the Catholic Health Ethics Association, as well as, of course, Bison Catholic and Focus. Now, there's one other role that I fill on campus that really can't be like categorized into an organization. I fill the role of a yell leader. Not to be confused with a cheerleader, I am a yell leader. And what I do, you, you maybe have seen one before, you've maybe actually gotten so close to see one while tailgating before. But I walk around in a suit just like this, except it's bright yellow, and I stand in front of the student section and lead all of the chants. So as you can imagine, I have to yell really loud, so that's basically like talking in all caps, okay? <laughs> now this evening, we have a full lineup of individuals that are gonna come forward, share a little bit about their life, and first, we're gonna bring our beloved bishop forward, but I, I, really, I really want to give us, or to give him our best. So I think that we can, that can be done through like a chant. Do you guys think that you're ready for this? Okay, all right, that's what I thought, I thought. We're gonna split the room right down the middle. Now when I point to this group of people, you guys are going to yell, bison, okay? Not bison, bison. <laughs> got it. Now, this group, Catholic. You got it, okay? You, you, guys, you guys got this, ready? So we're gonna do a quick trial run, all right? Awesome. Okay, just don't think about the other one. Know what you're going to say, okay? <laughs> it is my pleasure to introduce um, Bishop Folda. Bishop Folda grew up in Omaha where he graduated St. Thomas More Grade School and Archbishop Ryan High School. After graduating from high school in 1979, he attended the University of Nebraska-Lincoln where he studied architecture and electrical engineering. In August of 1983, Bishop Folda entered seminary formation for the Diocese of Lincoln, and in 1999, Bishop Folda was appointed rector of St. Gregory the Great Seminary in Seward, Nebraska. On April 8, 2013, our gracious Pope Francis appointed him Bishop of Fargo, and he was then installed and ordained on June 19, 2013. You guys ready? Please help me in welcoming Bishop Folda. I'm going to try that at Mass sometime. <laughs> it's wonderful to be with all of you. Uh, I'm so glad that uh, I was able to celebrate Mass for a number of you for this Solemnity of All Saints, as I said at Mass. I think it's just a perfect um, joining of celebrations because the Newman Center is all about forming people, young people especially, to be saints here on earth but also in heaven. And so we're all here united in that, that wonderful and that hopeful vision that our Lord has for all of us. And I'm, I'm just so glad that you came tonight to uh, participate in this banquet and just to be with friends, and to hear a little bit more about the great work that's being done at St. Paul's Newman Center. So with that, let us uh, turn to our Lord in prayer and ask his blessing upon all of us. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. 
Loving Father, we thank you for the many ways that you have blessed us, most especially for calling all of us to be your children, to be disciples of Jesus, your Son, to be the saints whom you call to yourself in the eternity of heaven. We ask you, Lord, to be with us this evening, to bless our gathering, to give us joy of heart as we share friendship, as we share in the the bounty of food that is placed before us, and as we recall the many blessings that you bestow on us and on your entire church. Lord, we are mindful, too, of those who are hungry this night, both in body and in spirit. Fill them, Lord, with your grace. Fill them with the bounty that comes through the generosity of your people. Fill them with comfort in your presence. And, Lord, now we pray together. Bless us, O Lord. And these thy gifts, which we are about to receive from thy bounty, through Christ our Lord. Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Bon appétit. Wow. What a great meal. What a great jazz band. Can we give it up for the band? So this is the part of the program where I was told that I had to entertain the audience and I asked, what do I have to do to entertain the audience? And they told me, well, you can either tell a story or a joke. And I, I chose to uh, tell a little bit of both. So I, the first time that I actually bought like, you know, one of those medals, the Pray For Us medals, I actually have them here. I, I by accident, picked up St. Philip Neri. And if you know anything about St. Philip Neri is that he's, he's very well known for his humor. So. That kind of leads into my joke, as well as me sitting at the table with Father Cheney. So I think I've got the cards stacked on my side to be a, have a funny one, right? You guys ready? All right, so this story goes like this. Moses was leading the Hebrews to the Red Sea, and the Egyptians were coming fast. Moses turned to his PR agent. He said, where are all those boats I told you to get? And his PR agent said, Moses, what boats? What are you talking about? I don't know anything about these boats. Just great, said Moses. What am I supposed to do, lift my staff up and part the waters? And his PR man said, you know, well, well, Moses, if you pull that one off, I could probably get you a pretty big spot in the Bible. <laughs> I was, I was going to tell you a little bit about the, the drama that I've heard at the local convent, but then I realized that it was none of our business. <laughs> you guys think those are funny, you need to learn about this thing called the internet, because they've got great jokes on there. Anyway, our program will now begin. Tonight you will be hearing from many who have come to know Jesus Christ and his bride, the church, through the ministry at NDSU's Newman Center. Our speakers will include, include the pastor of St. Paul's, Father James Cheney, NDSU student Ashley Kilzer, alumnus Joe Hendricks, as well as our keynote tonight, Sister Jane Dominic Laurel. Now first, we would like to show you a unique video. In this video, we, we took the time to interview two groups of people. Uh, the first group you will see consists of everyday young people in downtown Fargo. The second group is students, my peers, who have had the impact of attending NDSU's Newman Center. Now please take a look at the screen and, and really focus in and notice the contrast and how they, they view love, life, and happiness. Wow, every time I watch that I, I feel some different emotions, whether it be humor when the one Newmanite is asked when, uh, when, when life begins and he's like, you know, when that one sperm hits that egg, it's like, what else do you need, right? Or whether it's listening to somebody say that, I believe that life begins at, at birth, but I don't really like the idea of abortion. Doesn't that kind of leave you with some thoughts? You're like, wow, give me five minutes and I'll tell you why you feel that way. But anyway, I just, I love, I love seeing this video and I'm so glad that you guys were able to share that with me. But now I'm gonna read what I wrote in the script, okay? So, what a powerful look at the impact an encounter with Christ has on the way in which we see the world. The second group of students, my peers at Bison Catholic, 
had something very clearly missing from the first group. Conviction. Had something very clearly missing from the first group. Okay, not to, not to be said that the Bison Catholics don't have conviction. It's the other way around, and I just got that mixed up in my head really quick. But we have conviction. A conviction about love, life, happiness, and what they really mean. This experience would not be possible without the great leadership at the NDSU's Newman Center.